Welcome, everybody, to Gamer Weekly, the show made by gamers for gamers. I'm checking the audio levels because I don't want it to clip or have a pop sound. And if, for those of you who don't know what the a pop sound is, it's littered all over the last Epic Game uh, Gamer Weekly. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to sort this mic thing out. I'm going to get a USB mic or something so I don't have to record it on the PC and the laptop. It's, it's a big hassle. I just want to connect it to the laptop and just record. Obviously, you won't be getting like that effect there, but yeah, I can, it, it's not a big contributor. It looks kind of decent. It looks kind of cool, actually. Half cool. Um, anyways, welcome everybody to Gamer Weekly. We have a full episode this week. A lot of news topics, a lot of things that went down. And uh, Hello Kitty doll. Alright. Um, so right off the bat. Oh my god, that freaking peaked there. Basically when it peaks, that's when you know the mic is clipping. And you don't want that to happen. Alright, so before I jump into the news, I'd like to start off with a joke. Um, the events that took place in Malaysian politics were unprecedented. Get it? Because there was no precedent at a point. Look, if I made that joke four days, I wrote the joke four days ago and there was no precedent. Okay? It was funny then, but I didn't have anyone to say it to, so I'm going to say it now. Is, is it, did a joke age well? No, because it's a precedent now, so it's not unprecedented anymore. You know, but I'm going to say it anyway, because I wrote the joke. Okay? And yeah, gonna have to listen to it. Another joke is actually a more easier one. Is a uh, new Malaysia. A fucking joke. Ha. Anyways, I don't want to get into politics too much, dude. But a little bit. Maybe I'll get into a little bit. Cause I don't. None of my articles right now are about Malaysian politics. Cause I don't care about Malaysian politics. And I don't want to get into it too. But all I'm gonna say is that the current state status is that. There's no such thing as New Malaysia right now. You know, we're back to the United Malays National Organization. You know? I'm not going to say much, you know? I'm not going to give my opinion. Right? All I'm going to say is that... Imagine if America was ruled by the White People's Party. You know? I'm just... I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying imagine if that's the case, right? That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying imagine if America was ruled... By the white people's party that's all that is all i'm saying i'm not giving opinions or anything because i don't want to go to jail right free speech is free except it's not it's going to be governed by the law anyways that's enough of the intro let's go into the the the, the, the news of today's i got some articles uh hooked up so let's we are going to start off we have i think we have two dog news gotta be fucking kidding me dude there's only one dog news now what happened to my other dog news? Well, it looks like we only have one dog news. The other one, I guess I can just like recap. So, coronavirus could age pangolins closer to extinction. The gist of this is um, Karen Povey, who said this. I'm going to have to drag this up for you guys to read. I can't highlight it. Come on, just highlight the freaking thing. Come on. You can't do it, huh? Alright, this one. Um, so Covey said they've already had tremendous pressure on their population and now if that's this connection of people fear feeling fearful because they may be a disease carrier there may be even more reason to people want to try to kill them she said I, I agree with uh, Covey I think her name is a uh, Povey Povey her name is and they're certainly so close to extinction as it is that another problem is certainly going to make things worse yeah I agree, Povey, but uh, yeah, it sucks. It sucks. I love pangolins. Pangolins are like one of my favorite mammals, dude. Even more than humans. Even more than humans, dude. You know, they have like this shell on them. It's so cool. But yeah, I hope... Dude, the, the trade is crazy for pangolins. Like, there's just so much... So much of them being killed, dude. It's wild. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. These are bags, dude. Oh, fuck. These are... Wah. A record seizure of pangolin skills in Hong Kong, dude. 
Look at that f- shit. Look at that shit. Tons of fucking bags, dude. Of freaking just pangolin scales. All these TCMBS, dude. Anyways, that's that's the pangolin article I wanted to share. Save the pangolins, guys. Uh, we won't get to the elephant news just yet. We got. I'm going to cover all the COVID-19. COVID-19. COVID-9. COVID-19 cases in Malaysia. Tally at 55. Uh, I haven't read this article. I don't really want to read it. Decided the government would gazette face. What is gazette? What does gazette mean? Is that is that an animal? What does gazette mean? A governmental government gazette is a periodical publication that has been authorized to publish. I don't fuck it. I still don't get it. What gazette mean? Government would gazette face mask as a control item under the Controlled Support Regulation Exports 2020 to ensure sufficient supply of face mask for domestic use. Okay, we got 55 cases. This one is a Puchong Brainy Bunch Kindergarten temporarily closes after one parent test positive for coronavirus. There's no, there's no article. That's the weird. Oh wait, there is. I didn't realize it. I didn't realize that was an article. But anyways, I don't want to read the article. Anyways, by Wolf Buzz, dude. Who gives a shit about Wolf Buzz? Anyways, um, Puchong is here. So, I have coronavirus, I guess. Um, I'm not too worried about it. I feel like, again, I have I have like sore throat. I get sick all the time. Even yesterday's draw daily, I had a headache. And then the day before that, I had sore throat, and now I have sore throat again. And I get sick all the time, and I feel like I'm one of those creatures that can just be sick and not die. Um. Anyways, yeah, I'm not worried about it. Although the older people might die, but it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not an epidemic here yet. Yet being the keyword. Clinics are fucking broken, though. Clinics are fucking broken. You have. All of these sick ass people at the waiting area. That's 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 a recipe for shitstorm. Okay? Jeez, I don't ever want to go to a clinic, dude. I swear I went to a clinic once. Actually it was a hospital. And I got sick. I got fever. I went to a clinic, which is a place that's supposed to heal you, and I got a fever. Anyways, I had a freaking mask prepared. Actually, this mask is like from way back during uh, the the air pollution days, and I I drew I drew a uh, King Crimson like the epitaph thing. You know, I guess I have to wear it now. All right, I'm well protected now. Epitaph. And then the last coronavirus news we have is a pet dog belonging to COVID-19 patient infected. Well, it's not. Yeah, I guess it just tested positive, but the dog is not actually sick. But it is carrying the disease. I read it and they can't transmit it to humans, but they can harbor it or something. But I don't think the dog actually got sick. So that's that. Actually, we had another dog news, which I can't pull up. There you go. Puppies rescued from the meat market in Pudu. Pudu's wet market. I didn't know they sell dog meat there. Well, it's not really. She said she believed it was for the meat market. I want to not believe that. But I didn't know they had exotic meat market in Pudu, which is the case here. But I'm not sure if the puppies were, you know, for meat. Anyways, that's that. That's that. We are almost done with the news, dude. Jumbo mystery. Two more Borneo pygmy elephants die to unknown uh, causes. This one sucks. Because you know how I was covering the pygmy elephant in the Epic Gamer podcast, if you guys were listening to that. But it's no worries, because they say here that that investigates it. <laughs> investigates it. It is the third death investigated this year, while a total of 25 were reported to have died last year and these are not natural causes these are not death by natural causes all these elephants were found at plantations either shot or poisoned these fuckers are 
planting clappers out and what the shit they fucking plant and they're killing these fucking elephants dude you know i hate i will have to talk about my gov i have to talk about the government again because this the government is fucking blind dude they're fucking blind they can't see in front of them dude they can't see what's fucking in front of them dude hey hey open your fucking eyes mate there's a fucking jungle there mate that's the most valuable shit we have and if you can't fucking see that maybe you shouldn't be in charge that's all i'm gonna say i'm not allowed to give my opinions i'm not giving my opinions here but this is important the borneo rainforest is, is the biggest i mean it's very biodiverse in fact it's, it has a lot of species that are in danger that only live there epidemic endemic species right i think it's i'm not even making this up right the most the area with most endemic species right the area with most endemic species endemic endemic not pandemic i think endemic means native oh like only there or maybe i'm making shit up maybe i can't even find an answer endemic species oh apparently it's australia wait no it's not yeah i can't find i can't find it dude because you know why because no one fucking cares about this shit oh man oh man all right let me just try to hit this article up anyways uh augustine tuga i think he did say something here um i believe this is augustine tuga yep it is the team have completed the postmortem on the elephants that found dead in sukau and are their way are on their way to carry out a similar postmortem near the reserve um Earlier this year, the department also investigated another elephant death at a plantation in Sukau after it was discovered that the elephant was buried within the estate without informing the death to the department as mandated by the law. I fucking hate the government, dude. I'm... I'm s well, shit, I guess I'm going to jail now. I can't, I can't look up place with the highest endemic species. All right, here we go. Here we go, dude. I'm betting my testes that Malaysia is going to be on the top 10 most biodiverse countries. I'm betting my testes, okay? Because I'm very confident in what I know. And I'm hoping I'm not wrong. All right? This better be a freaking list and not a giant essay. This better be number 10. United States. <laughs> What? You kitten. You kitten. You kitten. United States and Venezuela. Ecuador. India. Alright, I'm starting to get nervous now. Oh my god, we had number six. Still no Malaysia. I'm getting a bit worried. Australia. Peru. Fuck my testes, bro. Mexico. <sighs> Shit, Malaysia's better be there. If not, I'm fucking suing this company, dude. My testes are shrinking right now because I put them on the line. Oh, that looks like Borneo. That's not. That's China. Fuck me, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, that's a hornbill. Indonesia. What the? F come on. Oh, God damn it. My, my testes are on the line here. Please, please, please. Colombia. Wait. Oh, my God. You got to be kidding me. Where's my testes at? Myanmar. Wait, what's Malaysia? You gotta be kidding me. Malaysia is down here. What number is that? What the fuck, bro? Rank 32? I don't get it. Malaysia is number 15. Okay, that this is outdated. This is outdated. Right? The reason why America is on the, even on the list is because they, rec they record the stuff there. Right? This is outdated. Okay, my test is a safe because this is outdated. I don't trust this research. <laughs> well, shit, dude. Looks like I lost my testes. Fuck me, dude. Wait, why is Malaysia on the list again, but lower? Brunei. Brunei. Fuck you, Brunei. Fuck you. You know, even a country. Okay, let's look at a different one. Hey, 
look, look, I typed in biggest endemic species in the world, right? Right? And look what I found. Wildlife of Malaysia, dude. Okay? So my testes are mine. Alright? Look, this is where I got my facts from. Being a mega diverse country. Um, I have to go back, actually. Guess I fucked up. Okay? But you know, it's still freaking diverse though. It's a mega diverse country, okay? And that's not much of us. Okay, and we need to freaking look at that. You know, I may be wrong about my testes and I bet that shit on the market, but it doesn't change the fact that this is an issue. This is an issue that we don't even want to fucking look at. You know? It's, Malaysia still has a shit ton of endemic species. A shit ton of slow loris or some shit. I don't know if it's slow loris. It could be something else. Oh, this shit, dude. Look at this shit. What's his name? Nick Cage. Nick Cage's girlfriend is like younger than his child or some shit. I don't know. It's weird. But it's cool, dude. You let him do what he wants to do, right? Let him do what he wants to do. Um, That's all the news we have today, guys. That's all the news. We have to go to Draw Daily. Oh my god. What the fuck is that? Alright, can you guys hear me? The audio is going to be sucky now because I'm wearing the mask because I don't want to get COVID-19. <sighs> Alright, you guys can hear me now? Alright, alright dude, alright. Okay, so that's a mistake. How do I get rid of that? How do I, how do I get rid of that? Move, move. Delete, delete. There we go. Alright, so this is a new week, and on, honestly, I wanted to do JoJo week, but I don't think I'm ready for JoJo week. So today, we're going to do, going to be doing Pokemon week. So we're going to I want to do the same thing I did yesterday and just try to draw a card, but I don't have any cards with me right now, so I'm going to have to go and get them. This pack that I haven't opened yet, actually, I have opened it. Um, we're going to try to draw a random card, alright? You guys can see it's random, okay? And I'm going to just close my eyes. And I'm gonna drop one card. That's way too much cards I dropped there. Okay. Those of you at home can see the card. It's Tivo. Okay. So I'm gonna try to draw the Tivo, but I'm gonna try to, cause I'm, if I'm gonna just gonna draw the generic Pokemon, it's not gonna be any fun. So I'm gonna try to draw a variation, a variation. I'm not a good artist, and I haven't practiced that much. I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna practice more in our free time. But for now, uh, you guys are just going to have to do, do deal with this TiVo. So TiVo, for you guys who don't know, is, is like a fox looking Pokemon. And he's also like a raccoon. And he's like a thief. And I'm using my mouse to draw, just so you know. Actually, I shouldn't be using my mouse to draw. The Lenovo Active Pen. Okay, so let's try to do this one more time. Okay, we got... Actually, you know what? Actually, that doodle is actually pretty decent. Oh, now we're gonna try to give it that little eye thing. I'm not a big fan of Tivo, if I'm being honest. Tivo is kind of like the mighty Ina, mighty Ina of, of the Pokemon Shield. We're gonna give this Tivo like a little wet face look or something. That's a bit, that's a bit, that's a bit too, too near. And then the ears are huge on the evil. Gonna go ahead and give it some big ears. Uh, I can't do really good polish work right now because uh, while I'm drawing, while the screen is propped up this way, so that's not I can't apply too much pressure on it. So the best I can do is kind of like a like a light sketch right now. Oh shit. And then the eye. Maybe I should get like a thing. Maybe I should get like a box, put it behind so I can apply more pressure to this. Okay, that's half decent. And then we're gonna add. Actually, it has some. Uh, it has a mustache, which I completely missed out. And then do another ear. Give it that. That look over there. I think I'm just going to skip the mustache because I'm really not a big fan of Tivo's mustache. 
I hate the mustache even. So let's go ahead and give him a bit of that. Let's give him like a like a whisker thing, I guess, if we're not gonna do the mustache. I hate that too. Okay, and then and then he has he has like a chest thing going on. Like a Jessica Chastain going on. I don't know what Jessica Chastain is, I'm sorry. And then down here, I think it's like a tuft of fur. And then he has a little boots. He has his little boots going on. Let's go draw the boots. This picture is not detailed enough for me to do any do much. There's not enough detail in this picture, dude. Oh no. And then um all right, let me try to pull up a picture of Tivo. Fucking So that's Nikit and that's Tivo. Nikit looks pretty decent, but Tivo doesn't because he has a freaking mustache, dude. Whose idea is that? We have a video called Is Tivo the Worst Pokemon? Uploaded by Papa C. And then we have the basic Tivo design here. So if you can see, he has boots and he has a giant tail. We're gonna try to do something with that, I guess. So we can try. Oh, my Tivo is very raccoon like, actually. The one that I'm drawing right now. Let's give him that. And I can add the boots. I really don't like because I'm not good at I haven't tried to draw like a like a ruminant or a dog looking thing. So let's go ahead. Oh my god, my laptop is really blasting the fans. No wonder why my laptop is blasting the fans right now. Um yeah my mic level looks decent. And then let's try to you know what let's try to draw a little like a little leg. Like a table sitting down. I don't know how, but let's try it. I can't do it. I don't think I can do it. I'm half stuck right now. I'm half stuck. Um, you can try to draw like little back legs here so it looks like he's standing like in the frame or like, I don't know, he's like standing backwards. You know what I mean, like he's standing. Like he's standing. Oh, that looks like a penis. Today's song recommendation is uh, What's the Difference? I think that's what it's called. Eminem's in the song and he says What's the difference between us if we can start with the penis? Has such an iconic line too. Iconic line. Anyways, let's do this, 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 this and then this, 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 this and there you go. A rough sketch of a table that I did in my own style. I changed a lot of the table. I removed the mustache. Uh, that's it. I just removed the mustache, and that's my table. And the tail is going to be a bit more different because I want to add my own little thing. Okay, and then this. Okay. And then I would change the boots. I would give the boots more flare up thing compared to the traditional table. If you guys, if the camera, I don't think the camera can pick up this. And then what I would ch what I would change is actually the color scheme because Tivo is red and black. Could be brown. I'm not sure. I think brown is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and duplicate this layer. I completely forgot how to duplicate. Okay. And then let's get the bucket tool. And then let's get the red color. She has started black. Okay. Let's not paint today because uh, it doesn't work.
Wait, why is it darker now? Oh, because I duplicated it. Well, okay. Okay, let's try to duplicate it again. And it's darker now. Okay, now let's merge the whole thing. Then let's duplicate it again. Okay, now I can paint it, I think. There you go. And then take a red. This is just going to be a really rough paint. Ooh, that, okay. <laughs> Fucked it up. And then take a black and paint the tip. Come on, dude. This thing is closed off. How is it? How is it bleeding through? Anyways, that's that. That's that, dude. Tivo. Um, Pokemon week. It's Pokemon week. It's gonna be Pokemon week, dude. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys, uh, tomorrow.